Run, Drupal, run. <laughs> We're here to talk about page speed. We're going to talk about three main themes, uh, but essentially making Drupal run faster and making your pages load faster to your end user browser. Uh, so who is this guy? Uh, I am a co-founder of iSupport Digital. We build websites for associations. Personally been doing website work for about 12 years. Uh, founded a company in 2003. Some of our customers, uh, all of them open source, include Sprint, currently uh, migrating to Mothership of my US Chamber of Commerce over to Drupal. They're very interested in speed and performance. So uh, I am not a fireman, although uh, a lot of my folks, or a lot of the f people who meet me over the web think that I am. I just like biking in winter in Chicago. My son uh, also lives, loves winter. That's his uh, first introduction to snow. Um, that's my wife. She didn't know I took that picture of her, and uh, <clears throat> she doesn't know that it's here. So I think it's going to be. <laughs> I think it's going to be really funny when she sees the video. Uh, I have uh, a dog as well. My dog loves to ride on my motorcycle, and uh, my dog has a dog blog. Uh, <laughs> Google Sishan, the goal of the dog blog was to get him up to the number one spot until my friends and colleagues started making fun of me and uh, complaining that I spent too much time on a dog blog. But it's really relative as we're going to talk about page speed and performance and uh, what kind of impact it has on uh, what you're doing with Drupal. So three main takeaways that I will try to uh, talk about, and that is, what is page speed and how to measure it? Tools on the front end and ways that you can design your websites that will make that page speed go up or down, uh, load the time it takes to load down, page speed up, and some of the things that we're going to do that you can do on the back end or on the server side to increase that response time. We're also going to talk about monitoring and best practices. You should always monitor. And um, what if your site gets slashed on it? And we have an expert here in the front row who's designed a couple modules that uh, help you uh, get past that. Mikey Town, too. OK, so why care about performance? I really, really care about performance. I, I, um, I, I think Google is starting to hit your pocket in terms of uh, making sure you care about performance uh, as well. Two, th two, two things. If you're running uh, ads to uh, drive traffic to your site, they have included uh, performance as one of the metrics in giving you page rank. So, uh, sorry, not page rank, um, relevancy. Uh, so the less relevant the site is, the higher cost for ads that you, ha that you have to pay to drive traffic to your site. So if you have, you're planning on doing an R a exercise in increasing page speed, here's a simple ROI mechanism that you can use to convince the powers that made that you have to do that. Uh, April 9th, Google had announced that they are going to include page speed as one of their algorithms to measure your ranking of your website. So faster your site, the, and it's a, a large algorithm that, comp that is composed of many, many variables that are very secret, but it is one of them, so if you care about ranking higher, you may want to care about uh, pay. Uh, some definitions, just to make sure we're talking about the same thing. So front end stuff, we're going to talk about front end. So things that you're doing while developing the site, while d designing the site, things that you may not necessarily have to do to touch the server. Uh, back end performance, that is what you do to the server, and we're going to talk about that. Um, Terms that relate, but we're not going to touch upon, scalability and high availability. So again, performance is um, how fast do I get my page? Scalability is how fast do I get my page when there's millions or hundreds of thousands of people trying to get to it as well. We're going to focus on just the, the page performance as I'm looking at it by myself or one user, but it does relate to scalability. So how many of you have seen this waterfall diagram before? page performance diagram. Cool. OK, so you know it's an, X, uh, it's an X, Y axis starting at the top left corner. Um, the X is the time and the Y is the number of objects that, that, that uh, load uh, for your, each of your page requests. The shorter the waterfall, 
and the less it goes out, the faster your page, right? So you want that page to have as little objects as possible, yet still satisfying your objectives of building a website, and you'd like that page speed, because those graph, those bars represent the time it loads, it, it takes to load each object to be as short as possible. So we're going to touch upon this many, many times throughout this presentation. Uh, waterfall diagrams, uh, most of them now are composed of uh, each of those objects has a bar and each bar, it, each bar, each tool gives you more information about each object bar. So um, you'll be interested in knowing that the start of that bar is essentially when the server, when you sent that request out, uh, they may give you a time to the connect then when the, the, the middle bar is when the time it took the server to process that request, and the last bit is how long it actually took that request to get back to you. So um, not only in a, within the water, looking at the waterfall, but looking on each object in the waterfall, you may discover problems, and that's useful to know. Okay, tools. Love tools. So we're gonna cover in some detail uh, Weissel and PageSpeed. Uh, those are Firebug tools um, built by, uh, or Steve, <clears throat> they have the same origin. Uh, we're going to talk about web page test, an AOL tool that is an online tool, also producing great waterfall diagrams that are very useful. And clearly Apache Bench and JMeter, uh, also performance based tools that give you a little bit more information. You have uh, the crossover to the uh, scalability part because they allow you to do some uh, uh, load testing and of course Devel. I love Devel and I'm going to profess my love for Devel over and over. Okay, why slow? <laughs> why not? Why, <laughs> why is my page loading slow? Well, that's, that's a good, I love that name. I can, if I, if I was better, I'd come up with better jokes. But um, <clears throat> When do you use this tool and the next, next tool? If you, get, if you wonder if your page is slow, if you, want, if you complete a page or if you complete a site and you want to see how it compares against the uh, best practices that have been established by Yahoo, Steve Saunders, and uh, Google uh, PageSpeed, Steve Saunders again. So essentially when Yahoo uh, started the Why Slow project, Steve Saunders was leading this and they said, okay, what are the best practices on the web for making uh, pages load faster. And this is where they've made this uh, big discovery in the waterfall fall diagram. It wasn't a big discovery, but in the, they discovered in the waterfall diagram that essentially the first part of the waterfall diagram, the first object is, is what take, is the time it takes your server to process your initial request. Everything afterwards happens after that page has been processed by the database server and application server. So there is a huge opportunity to improve that waterfall diagram after the first request. So they started looking at best practices and they came up with 14, this is the high performance websites by, book by Steve Saunders, um, really takes an in-depth look at 14 best practices they came out uh, out of this project uh, and they come out with this tool. This is a great tool, you load it up, it's a Firebug, uh, Firefox based tool, you just hit your website, drop it down, and it gives you an S grade. Hopefully no one's getting an F. Um, out of the box, Drupal this gets a C, I believe. You can also tweak these settings. Um, this is a YSLOW 2 setting for small sites where they're not going to want to invest in CDN. Um, you generally, Drupal sites out of the box get an A. So Steve Saunders now with Google. Uh, best practices with page speed. And this is, again, uh, Google has focusing more on Ajax interaction. Um, they also launched a uh, recent tool uh, that's for Chrome that's similar to this, but also measures your site and, and has more focus on JavaScript interaction with um, the user and, and server. Uh, again, best practices as defined by Google. So uh, a lot of these things, uh, luckily, Drupal does most of these already out of the box, but uh, a lot of these are fairly no-brainers, um, such as uh, minify CSS, optimize images, um, essentially compress uh, stuff, um, gzip compression, we're going to talk about a little bit about that. So a lot of good things. Uh, it's good to take a look at that because as you're developing your websites, you keep in mind what you need to do to make them faster.
Okay, web page test. Again, really love this product. I don't understand why web page test isn't the number one web page in the entire world. Uh, I certainly spent enough time on it. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, so web page test, uh, it gives you an idea of a, uh, of, it, gives, it provides a waterfall diagram for you, but it's run off of a server, so you're not dependent on, you know, having a conversation like this. Hmm, it really loads very fast for me. What do you mean it's loading slow for you? Um, well, you can uh, send your customer or your user to that site and have them run that. They have several data centers out of which they run the test. They can run it out of uh, IE and Firefox, I think. They also can simulate a connection speed. They'll produce a diagram, a waterfall diagram for you, along with uh, some best practices and recommendations. Great tool. Also, it can videotape uh, the page, the videotape. It'll record a uh, visual representation of the page loading for you. So you can see uh, what's happening, and you can take a look at it as the clock. So preparing for this presentation, taking a look, and, and one of our clients said, well, you know, my page isn't loading so uh, fast. Let's take a look at it. <clears throat> so I'm like, well, I'm, I'm refreshing my slides. Let's take a look at what's going on. Oh, my God, was that worth my time? So green line right here is the, represents the start of when your uh, browser starts rendering that page. The blue line represents when the browser is done rendering that page. So can you see a problem here? What is that line doing there? Well, so I took a look. I said, no wonder you're taking a third of a hit per, uh, performance just to one object loading. And oh my god, that object is not even on our server. So there's nothing that I can do I just, except to talk to the web editor and say, why are you putting this object? Why are you using that? It's killing your website performance. So that was worth like five minutes of my time. That's good, good tool. Um, and you can record that, you can store it and send them to that URL, great, great, great tool. Okay, J, J meter. Load testing tool, uh, it's very sophisticated. It allows you to put together uh, a number of load test scenarios. Uh, it can log in authenticated users. You can lo run it from multiple servers. Uh, you can really do a lot with this tool. Uh, we use it to simulate the authenticated user testing, which is the hardest thing to um, improve performance on. And uh, we can run different scenarios, fire them off at different times. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic tool. Recently, I've been convinced by a good colleague of mine that Apache Bench is also worth talking, spending just as much time on as JMeter. JMeter, uh, sorry, Apache Bench. Who here uses Apache Bench? Oh, wow, cool. Okay, so you know what it does. It's a very simple, dumb tool, but maybe because of its simplicity, it's very effective. You say, okay, I want you to run n number of uh, requests uh, at x number of, at y number of concurrencies, and let me see what the resulting um, page load, average page load is. So you can say, okay, I know that my server on a index page can essentially handle 24 requests a second. And I'll make a tweak and I will see what happens. So this is a very useful t tool if you're making quick changes to either the front end or the back end. Uh, you restart your Apache because you don't want anything running in memory and you run it again and you can see whether that made a difference. Also, it's worth running more than once because of caching um, you know, the, the first uh, time that you run it against Drupal and you're using caching, it's not cached. So, uh, you know, you, it, you can use it as a pretty sophisticated tool or use it just as a, okay, what can we handle? Devel, love Devel. Thank you so much, Drupal community. Uh, Moish is, uh, is the author of this. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. I think everyone should develop with Devel on. Uh, it gives you an idea of uh, your, your queries, how long they run. It allows you to uh, check and uh, see whether you have slow running queries. It gives you the page execution time and the database execution time so you can see, okay, is it really the database that's killing my page speed or is it something that's in between? Is it an application server? Is it PHP? Is, uh, is my server just waiting for a request to log? So um, this is a fantastic tool to use to go back and dive into each page as you're making designs on the front end or changes and see what it does to your performance. Um, and that doesn't consider caching. This is for authenticated users. So fantastic tool. Have it on all the time. All right.